Secure, contain, protect. That is our motto at SCP. Dr. Catherine, please have a seat. Please, speak into this. The day is March 18th, 2015. Counselor Terrence Dean to review subject 224. Commencing now. Please state your name. William Chester Cothran. How many years have you been working at SCP? Five. During those years, how many potential hazards were reported? Three. Were there any prior incidents reported before this? Well, there was one, I suppose, that was comparable. Describe that. An explosion from a nearby industrial site shook the building that we were in, knocking one of our items off its pedestal. Is this the object? Yeah, that's it. SCP. Five one three. Describe the bell. SCP five one three. The bell was suspended in a cubic foot of gelatin so that it wouldn't ring under normal circumstances. And the explosion dislodged from the gelatin. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, we found it in Wisconsin. Its clapper had been taped to the side of it to prevent it from ringing, and there was a note with it—a handwritten note. Let the record show that the message of the handwritten note is as follows. Now you've seen it, now we can hear you. You've touched it, now we can see you. Never ring it. If you hear it, he can touch you. We told Jameson to secure his earmuffs. This shouldn't have happened. He was showing signs as soon as it fell off its pedestal. Signs? Paranoia. Where was Mr. Jameson found? In the bathroom. He, uh... Went for a break and... And? Shot himself. Dr. Cawthorn, you're being deposed for the death of one of your fellow employees, a one F. Torn. The difference between your case and his is that he died by your hands, not his own. No more mistakes. I saw the signs and I acted. Who knows how many I saved. So you admit to killing Mr. Torn? Yes. Don't do it! Had I not intervened, he would have worn the mask. Is this the object in question? Are you insane? What's this mask doing outside of containment? Please, calm down, doctor. No, no, not until you put this back in its cell. I understand your negative association with this object, but... It's just a tragedy No, mask. no, 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 no. It was a comedy mask when I shot Torn. I reviewed the security footage. It was indeed a tragedy mask that Mr. Torn was wearing when you shot him. Yes, because it changes from comedy to tragedy and all definitive records of it change along with it. Okay, now I know you're not of sane mind. You mean to tell me that this mask, a tragedy mask, changed the security footage to make it a comedy mask? It's not part of this world! It wants you to put it on. The mask wants you to wear it. I've heard enough. I'll have security take you downstairs. Look, look no, no, you, you don't understand. If we don't put that mask back in containment, it's going to- What the hell? A blackout. Do these blackouts happen often? No, our power grid's monitored. Something was, something was the matter, we would have heard something. Well then, can you explain this? Counselor, if there's one thing you have to understand, it's that this facility is committed to understanding how certain things in our world can exist outside the realm of physical possibility. So, so what are we going to do now? Now, we survive. Ah. Uh, I got a lighter. <laughs>